My name is Martin Arias and I am part of the Cisco TAC Cable and Access Team. This video guides you instructions for implementing and verifying the initial configuration of segment routing on iOS XR devices using ISIS as the interior gateway protocol. Segment routing forwards packets using source routing, encoding the path in the packet header as another list of segments. This allows traffic to follow any chosen path and not just the IGP shortest path. The following represents the fundamental topology utilized in the lab. All devices run IOS XR. From left to right, you see a provided edge router P1, two core devices P1 and P2, and a second provided edge router P2. All devices are pre-configured with ISIS as their IEP and with loopback addresses advertised through ISIS. Additionally, P1 and P2 are pre-configured with segment routing. First, start verifying the ISIS configuration on both P1 and P2. For that, use the short run router ISIS command. You must configure metric setwide as a prerequisite for enabling segment routing. Use the command metric setwide under the address family within the ISIS process. Now enable segment routing for ISIS protocol using the segment routing MPLS command under the target address family. And then configure a prefix seed on the ISIS enabled loopback interface. In segment routing, there are two options, index value and absolute value. In this case, index value will be configured on P1 whereas absolute value will be configured on P2. Commit the configuration and check the changes. Verify that SRGB has been assigned in LFIP using the show MPLS label table detail command. Validate the prefix seed configuration with show ASAS database verbose. Corroborate that the labels are added to the MPLS forwarding information base with show MPLS forwarding. Finally, check the routing table of P1 and the back reachability towards P2. And with this, you have implemented segment routing on iOS XR platforms using ISIS as the interior gateway protocol. Thank you for watching.